right, welcome back to your favorite morning show, The AM Club here on MX24. My name is Miriam Uduak Menta. We're delving into something really exciting, and this is our Lifestyle Daily. But before that, we're excited to announce the 8th Women's Expo Ghana 2024 International Women's Day edition at the Atlantic Mall Atomic Junction, Accra, from, the, from March 8th to the 10th. 2024 participate to showcase your products and services use the platform to promote your products and services reach your target market in the shortest possible time join us to celebrate international women's day on the 8th of march free health screening medication a review family planning and female Reproductive health participate to this uh, in discussion circles um, on self care and women's choices in health, uh, pension planning for the women, uh, entrepreneur insurance for small businesses, digital and social mar media marketing, and social uh, customer service and more. Admission is absolutely free. Admission is absolutely free. Kids play area also is available for those special little ones. For registration and participation, contact 055-7874-977, 055-7874-977, or email at womensexpogh um, at yahoo.com, womensexpogh at yahoo.com. Do that today, and thank us later, Jay. Yeah, I love, I love the way, I love the way you, are, you are just getting into the International Women's Day. That's 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 coming through. Yes, in March. on the eighth of March. It's why, you, why? 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 Because it be woman. You, yes, you, you are all hyper. Yes, okay. we deserve to be celebrated every you. time of the year. I hear you. <laughs> but my point is that do we have International Men's Day? And what what happens on that day this year? You should champion that cause. Make sure the men are celebrated. I task you to make sure the men are celebrated well as they deserve to be celebrated this year. Yes, my love. <laughs> All right. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, uh, time for us to get into Lifestyle Daily. And uh, today's conversation uh, is uh, starting off very, very nicely. Mm -hmm. But uh, inside the studios, we've got uh, Mr. Joshua Kwekunu, who happens to be a political activist. And later on, uh, we'll be having uh, Reginald also joining us. You know Reggie and how he takes notes. He's I'm waiting for him to come and take <laughs> notes too as well. Welcome. Thank you. Everything cool? How you yeah. doing? I'm doing great. Your political suits, I love it. <laughs> I love the vibes. <laughs> it's, it's giving. Thank it's you. giving, I mean business. Yeah, thank you. So, um, we've, got, we've got two things which are trending on the political mm -hmm. front. Um, the first one has to do with uh, the immediate reshuffle of the ministers where people were expecting um, honourable... Um, Ken uh, or Furiata to be removed. And yes, indeed, we saw the president being removed, um, uh, honorable, from his position as a Minister of Finance. And uh, just about some days after, we get to see that he's been appointed as uh, the special advisor to the president. And um, questions are coming in as to this position itself what is it with the position and what are we expecting from honorable kent to do all right um miriam and um, could you let me say good morning to you and um, good morning to all your cherished viewers and listeners across board um I, before i dive into mm -hmm. the issue right i don't know if you've followed what happened throughout the week excluding these two um, youth Employment Agency, YEA, mm -hmm. employed about 282 mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. who are uh, under the persons with disability. Yeah. You know, these people were unemployed due to the zeroing of the tolls. Mm -hmm. However, the vision of the leader, um, um, a Japan, Kofia Japan, who is now the CEO, he has employed all these people across the 266 mm -hmm. Um, districts in the country, and this is um, a step in the right direction. Absolutely. Now to your issue about the reshuffle. You see, the position of an advisor, right, you don't have an um, you don't have the same role as a minister. Okay. You cannot implement anything. You only give advice to the president. He chooses to take it or not, right? And um, the president appointing him in that role, I think if you look at Article 78, Clause 1 of the Constitution, it is very clear that the president has the authority to appoint who mm. at what point in time. Okay. The president felt it was 
a right time to put him in the said position to contribute his quota to the development of Ghana okay. some way, somehow. Yeah. Right. And then um, I, 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 I share in the Yes. I share in the same light with the, the president. Okay. And um, if you if you can recall, we had Dr. Akutu Osei. Yeah. He was the senior presidential advisor mm. on economic affairs. Okay. He died somewhere last year. Mm. So can come in is just a replacement. Okay. It's not, not it's not anything new. We've not created anything new for him. Okay. It's just a replacement. Okay. He's coming to replace Doctor the late Doctor Kuto who okay. died recently. So okay. I don't see anything wrong with it. And when it comes to the radio shuffle, I don't know if you've heard that quite a number of um, um, people in the opposition party mm. would always say that the timing. And it's wrong. it was wrong. Mm. It, it, it's not going to make an impact. It's even been for but, the but, reshuffle uh, side. You, you, you watch football, right? I do. Yes. Um, I think somewhere 23rd March 2021, mm. uh, Manchester City and um, is it, um, Wolverhampton, mm. they played a match on that date. And okay. um, what happened was that somewhere 68th minute, mm -hmm. Antonio Ilanga came in. Mm. On the 74th minute, mm. he scored to bring victory to them. Okay. Timing is very important. Okay. The president is the coach in this situation. Okay. He has analyzed to see that the reshuffle and the timing is right to him. And at the end of the day, what he seeks to do is to um, mm. make life comfortable for Ghanaians mm. and help break the eight, as it has been the slogan of the new patriotic mm. party um, heading into the main election. Yeah. And then I, the vice president has also made it very clear, his bold statement across. So all these people coming on board um, mentioned from the new Minister of Finance to um, Honorable Vincent Akoasefua, who is now the Deputy uh, Minister for Local Government and Decentralization. I can tell you on authority that um, within two to three weeks after their uh, vetting has been approved, you would see new policies, new direction of these um, appointees of government. And at the end of the day, they are going to contribute and to what the NDC would say, that um, the, the, uh, it's a die minute, nothing can happen. I've given you a classical example, mm. what can happen in a die minute, and I'm very certain mm. on unbridled optimism that mm. victory would be um, delivered and Ghanaians would be on the path of prosperity, and we are very hopeful mm. that the vice president would lead this charge. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Officer is in. <laughs> With his book and pen. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. <Miss. laughs> it's, it's good to see you. It's good. I love you. You're looking. Thank you. I'm learning from my brother. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Mr. Yeah. Reginald. This one, this one. <laughs> Congratulations. He, 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 he came with the fashion and the, and the, and the words to right. say to us. So we're, yes. we're ready for the conversation. It's good to have you. Yes. Thank good you so morning. much. I was looking very beautiful. Thank you. Very um, much. You know, I follow you on um, Instagram. I see all your posts and all the fun you have. <laughs> yes, but. Um, Reginald Boateng uh, Achienzo. You're right. <laughs> He's the Deputy uh, Director of uh, Campaigns and Advocacy That's NDC Youth Wing. It's good to have you this morning. Thank you so much. We're uh, still talking about the... Yes, the yes. I, I had other conversations mm -hmm. and I can't wait to just um, dive in because I know how current your time is. Please, but yeah, on. so a very good morning to all your viewers and listeners nationwide. A uh, happy birthday to my mommy who might be watching right now. Um, first off, the reshuffling finance minister, and just as he introduced um, the employment of persons living with disability. Yeah. So first off, he, he says we should allow the YEA boss for absorbing this persons living with disability and then commend him. He's done so well. But wait, who got them into that position? What happened? They were, they were employed. And what happened to the words of the vice president? Mm. That you do not need to borrow to construct the roads. Mm. You just need to tow the very sections of the road to get a roads constructed. Now you come in and the, the over 38 tow boots we had, which were being manned and employed um, persons with disability mm. because that is their way to also contribute. You, you render them unemployed for so long, for close to over two years or even more. And then you come back to say that we should allow you for absorbing and employing them. My question is, who made them get to that state of unemployed? And you employ them as what? In what capacity? You get what I mean? If you say that you are employing Reginald here at MX24, maybe you are employing Reginald here as a cleaner, then it's okay. Reginald has finally landed a job at MX24 as a cleaner. Mm -hmm. But you just come and say, oh, 200 and whatever persons living with disability have been employed as well. That is just a teaser. He should be thinking about that. <laughs> and then the next thing that we want to talk about is the finance minister and his yeah. new role. Yeah. Oh, our darling presidential cousin. You know, 
the president appointing the finance minister into a higher authority just makes he, he just makes mockery of Ghanaians that you can talk as much as you can you can come and sit on TV and talk as much as you want but there's not there's little to nothing you can do how many how many people have not have not called for the sacking of the finance minister mm. in fact people in government have written and said that the finance minister enough is enough and meanwhile, this, this finance minister is the same man that, together with himself, the president and the vice president, have got us into this position that we are in, that we cannot even buy KNK two CDs anymore. KNK that was selling for one CD. Like, with five Ghana CD, we're supposed to be able to eat KNK and make sure that your day is okay. But now you cannot do that. And this finance minister is now leaving the finance ministry to a higher authority. Already, he was already advising the president on international trade and um, borrowing with us. Um, you know all these stories. So it's a mockery of Ghanaians. Mm. And I, I wish there's something more we can do. But the next thing that we can do is going to be great, and it's going to be shown on the 7th day of December 2024, where Ghanaians are going to vote very mainly against the certain government for their cruelty. For me, I think this is wizardry. I don't think wizardry is when you wake up at dawn and then you go and this is tormenting people's life physically, where you know that they cannot do anything. Now, the next thing about reshuffling. See, when we are talking about governance in Ghana, Ghana is, this year we are 10 over 67, right? Mm -hmm. After independence. And we are here talking about governance and we are comparing Ghana to a football team that when Manchester United was playing last minute, they had to do a change. Gentlemen, this is not a joke. Eight months to elections. People are now supposed to enter into offices and then now get briefings. Then they are now going to sit down, sleep on their beds and think about visions for their various sectors. And you are telling me that they can do something. Those who were dead three and a half years, or even more, finance minister has been there for over... We now hear the finance, the new finance minister saying that he wants to go and tour the uh, port and harbor authority because, yeah, you see, all of these things is a waste of time. You get what I mean? And so there's little to nothing that they can contribute. And this, for me, I don't even think there's a ministerial reshuffling. This is a, 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 an inside party gimmicks to ensure that there are people like one getting work to do, and then secondly, also trying to, um, how, how do we call it, like, it's, it's a correct political machinery. Mm. People, people like Dr. Okoboy lost his election in the year 2020 from Deputy Minister of, um, Deputy Minister of Health. He was told to go home because you lost your elections. Now he's won as primaries, come to a, a Ministry of Health again. What are you telling me? Um, people like the Minister of Health himself, mm. after costing the state so much money, we need to make him account for the money we've lost. We, up to now, we have ordered for COVID vaccines that have not arrived and we cannot chase him for it. Now he's been cleared, you can go home. Uh, the sanitation minister, Madam Freema, appointed sanitation minister, uh, couldn't even do anything as much. She has to now go home because she lost her primaries. Le let me refer briefly to my book. Um, Your book of is that book of life? Oh, no, no. You see, sometimes <laughs> you, you just need to, um, mm. you know, discuss and yeah. share, share what you, like, put down what you want to share. Now, the next thing is, we, we had so many ministries. What Ghanaians were calling for is a cut in the ministers. Mm -hmm. You come, you, 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 you didn't cut. The, having the people you appoint for your ministers, eh, there's little to nothing we can do. Other than that, ministers like um, Howard Kumsen, they are not supposed to be in the ministry that they are. Because somebody that we call a, a, ministry, a fisheries minister couldn't even define what a fish farming is. And so somebody like that, we couldn't stop her from becoming a minister. Because at the end of the day, they had majority in parliament, led by the uh, Honourable or Sir Chairman Zabons, who led, him, led them to uh, machinate and get whatever they want to do. So you cannot change it. So the people that he appoints, we know they cannot do anything. They've shown that they cannot do anything. They will run us deep into the hole. Mm -hmm. But then, cut the ministers down. We sat here, we discussed, that they said we're going to have a 30% cut in minister salary. What, what did I, where was the basket? How much can we account for? What shows that there's a money, these monies were collected or cut for ministers' um, salaries. You get what I mean? Mm. You didn't cut down the number. You replace people, and then the people that you think that you are your darling boys, Ambrose Derry, a finance minister, deputy finance minister at the time, you now give them uh, ministers of state, office of the presidency, minister of state, special advisor. What, 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 what are we talking about? So you are causing us more. Meanwhile, where we are, it's not a joke. You cannot compare Ghana to Manchester United. Like, I can't think about it. Ah. <laughs> I don't know if you okay. give me the opportunity. Okay, yeah, <laughs> yeah okay, so I mean, just, just on top exactly. Yeah, with yeah. the football, I'll be very interested in that because yeah. you made an anal analysis, and he's saying that that analysis does not because work. he doesn't want to think deep. 
what I was trying to say here was very simple. That at the end of the day, you are looking for a result. In football, the outcome is result, how to win. In elections, it's result, how to provide for the people and win your next election. That is why you form political. So, so you see what I'm talking about. They are only thinking about winning the next election. Listen, listen, listen. Like, and he gave you time. He gave you time. That's true, that's true. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But you see sometimes, your reflexes, like some things have, they boil you up, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I gave you the room I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Thank you. He did mention that um, we are giving people what, mini, uh, ministers of state and mm. what have you. Mm -hmm. Under the Eswa Mahama administration, we had six ministers of state. And if you need names, I can, I can mention their names for you. Mm. Under the Eswa Mahama administration, we had senior ministers, um, about three of them. If you need names, I can provide them right now for you. So this is nothing new. You had more ministers of state than what the president is having at the moment. Shh. The position of the um, senior minister has been established. Mm -hmm. um, the senior advisor to the president has been established. That he doesn't have any um, um, authority to implement anything. Mm -hmm. He only advises the president. Mr. President, this should go this tangent or that mm -hmm. way. But and it is at, it's at the discretion of the president to say, I would agree with you. And even that, when they go back to cabinet, cabinet would approve the sector minister who has the authority to do this or that, mm -hmm. will choose how to go about it. Recently, when the new finance minister came, he has released seven million pounds or euros to um, Ashanti, um, the international airport in Kumasi, mm -hmm. to be completed because they had you know, financial issues. Every leader and their priorities. He came in and he felt it was very important to complete that project. Mm. He has released seven million. It's, there is an outstanding two million which he has promised to release in the coming days. The On education that, minister. Priorities. Yeah. No, I'm talking. Yeah, okay. The education minister recently, you know, when I think some weeks ago, did mention one student, one laptop. Where the uh, my NDC so said it was well, no when the NDC <laughs> said about that yes because they, they 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 thought it was just a slogan. Mm -hmm. It was just one of those things. But now, I'm telling you, you can check Sehuyo, so all the STEM schools, they've started sharing. In this particular school, they have 868 students, right? They've distributed it to them. And by April, as per the minister, all these students under um, STEM and um, senior high school will receive their laptops. Do you know, the pep, apart from their studying, do you, the vice president mentioned that he's going to train one million Ghanaians in, in, in tech and what have you, it starts from here. Because in, when you want to learn tech, you need a laptop. A 21st century graduate should be equipped to meet global challenges. And the vice president is seeing the future from today. Mm. So they are starting from now. They will learn how to use it for their um, learning materials and what have you. They will learn how to code, Python, what and et cetera. This will build them up to meet the global challenges. Mm. It's not when they had power in, 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 in the X1 Muhammad administration, he, had a, he was even the president. He had the opportunity to you know, implement all these things. He didn't do it. Well, there were laptops uh, shared. I remember that laptop, yeah, those small ones. They, they didn't do it. They, they, it's mismanagement that didn't let so, you go through. You see? <laughs> so it, it's very clear that there is nothing new for the former president to come back again. It's just, it's just taking a new bottle and you know, changing the wine. You are just pouring an old wine in a new bottle. Right. It's, it's just the same thing, nothing new. And Ghanaians, we've experienced it under the Exxon Mahama administration. You were here. Recently, when there were some few light issues, people, were, people started agitated because it triggered their mind to those days, how you would close from school or close from work and you come back with no lights. However, now things are different. Uh, it's all about management. Okay. Sometimes it is not about, you know, um, buying new materials. It's all about management. How to prioritize and 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 wonderfully, if if you've not taken into consideration, Dr. Matthew Pokuprempe, he's doing so wonderful at the ministry, and I'll be very happy if the opportunity arises for him to be nominated as the running mate to the vice president, keep because doing, doing. every ministry he has headed. Every ministry from education, he implemented free SHS. It's, it's, I think it's the single policy that has affected more lives in this country if you take away the national health insurance, both being implemented by the um, new patriotic party. And if, if he has any evidence to dispute that, he should, he should mention guess, it here. I get very anxious when I hear the conversation of free SHS because I believe that there are so many factors that make that initiative very 
in, in for lack of a better expression, tacky, and for a, a an ordinary Guinean, um, I'm, I'm finding that I'm, I, I, the words are, are heavy, and when I say them on national television, it, it might not fit I the conversation. Please All don't right. say it. I'm not asked you. No, I'm not asked you. <laughs> Simple. We're still we're still on the conversation of reshuffling. You talked mm -hmm. about um, the, the 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 initiatives that some of yeah, the yeah. new. new some of the new appointees, appointees. Are, 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 are putting in yeah. place. Um, we, we talked about priorities and every leader with their priority. Yeah. And this, this brings me to the conversation of, I've looked at other countries and how they run their government, nice especially time. that of the US. And okay. there are national agendas that yeah. every president goes by. Mm -hmm. I, I always ask myself, and this is out of the conversation that we're yeah, having, yeah, yeah. that is it so difficult that we set a national agenda that the country says that this is the trajectory we're going to towards, um, we're going through towards the development of the country. We want infrastructure. So this, in the next four years, no matter which government comes, we are going on this trajectory. We're going on this mission, and that's what we want to do. So that we don't have the issue of, I started building this building. When I came, when the other party came into power, in yeah. Hoon Hian, which we have seen over the years. We've yeah. seen the blood east stay in the bush for forever. Yeah, someone says that it's... Have you forgotten the stadium at Legon? Uh, the, the hospital, yeah, yeah. someone said they built the, the, the uh, Snitz Hospital. Is this the Snitz <laughs> or Bank Hospital? And the, the, the someone said, I, I, I finished that. Hospital. All these things... Uh, it, 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 bothers, it bothers me so much that everybody comes with their own That's idea. Right, yeah. Yeah. Because, uh, I mean, we had ministers in, 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 the, in the spaces before these new ones came. Yes. What was what they were working on? Why don't they prioritize what was already being worked on and then finish it? Because again, we don't have time. No, so look right. at it. it so, they are the um, same, they had, are the same thing. Just, like, talk just a second. I just let, 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 let him finish it, this it, one. Yes. Okay. They are the same thing. Calculating the time, don't worry. If you look at government, look at <laughs> what government is doing, especially, so it's up to the sector. For example, you are, you are doing four things at the same time. The focus is to complete the four at the end of the results. How you complete it within the time space is left to the discretion of the minister, right? I want to finish this one first, and probably this one will generate revenue for me to finish the other. But at the end of the day, I must finish it. The new minister said he, he wants to pump money into the international airport because it will generate revenue into the country. If you've recently used the Accra Kumasi Road, mm -hmm. they've started expanding the road. If you get to when you name and you see how things are taking shape, get to um, Ejoso, and you see the inland port taking shape. Go to um, Second D, and then you see the market. Go to Ho, you see how their market has been constructed. If, if, even if you look at the inner roads in Ho, from Lokwe, Sokwe, they mention the towns. They have all been done. Let me give you a classical example. Look at the villages around, like Adakul and what have you. They, they are under the 111. Their hospital is almost done. It's about 90% complete. Mm. If, you'd con if you look at um, their inner roads, oh, the it has roads, been, the roads, it has been, it has, it has been really done. Good. When you go to Ashanti region, Manson Edubia, oh. right? No, no, no Manson Edubia, the road. So it's, it's, now there's a new sector minister. Before he came in, Honorable um, Oponkruma, mm -hmm. he stated what he wants to do, even before he came in. Not that someone wasn't there, but when you enter the place, as part of the target, you choose where to start from. So that at the end of the day, you may meet your target and be efficient and effective. Mm. And that is at the discretion of these ministers in these helm of affairs. And I'm very certain that the appointment of the president was done in the right time. It was, it, it, it was timely. And at the end of the day, it would be efficient and it would near to the benefit of Ghanaians. Thank you. Thank you very much. Over to you, Reginald. What did you have to say regarding oh, this thank conversation? You. You know, I just want, I wanted to dispute some of the things that he made mention of. Um, so while talking, he made mention, and these are off topic, but he, he brought them, so I just, want to, I just have to address them. He made mention of uh, Dumso Light, when people, and yeah, they remember. Yes. Dumso is a transgenerational, trans leadership problem, and uh, that problem was solved under the leadership of His Excellency John Domani Mahama. Mm -hmm. That is not in dispute. Like, you can argue with whatever and use it for political gimmicks, but I cannot come and sit on national TV where intellectuals are watching to spew out those lies. You get what I mean? I don't that know that I see. We no, no, no. you made mention that, what, and then you also made mention of um, the education minister. First of all, the education minister is not even part of the ministers that were reshuffled, but you said he's doing one student, one laptop. One student, one, one, one laptop is, is a policy of the past. It was, uh, uh, it started under, um, may he so rest in peace, 
Professor, I remember because I got one of those laptops. You got them, yes. Very, very and, 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 yeah. and you knew the process you went to get us out of those laptops. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, oh, really? <laughs> oh, really? Because you know, bring it out here. I don't remember, but I had the laptop. You know what I mean? And so, forget about it. The process. And he has started in Swedro, and one student is getting one laptop. What are you talking about? When we started, every e-blog that we built, it was it was a policy that they have to have ICT labs in there. They have to have science laboratories in there. Just so, because... Professor Jinan Opukwa, my other time was very, very nice. And you see, if you have people who are very myopic and only think about elections, they cannot think deep. The NDC is the only party that has about a 40-year development plan. Mm -hmm. Because we think that Ghana is a country that needs to progress. Our children need to come and see that at least our forefathers, like the way we come and then we, we heal our forefathers who fought for our independence. We also need to create the country in Can a way that the our children and our... Our children and our grandchildren will be, will be able to come and then also hail us. Because when, we, when you travel elsewhere and you see what they are doing. See, it's, it was until recent times that I realized that sometimes we expect God to do things that wisdom should do. Mm -hmm. You know, last year, me, I got an accident at Konongo in a VIP bus. Serious one. I, I think about two people died. Me, they are so rest in peace. And so every, every time I travel, I travel around the country a lot. Anytime I'm traveling, it's always Jesus, Jesus. Mm -hmm. And if you've realized... Can you tell me? I mean, we drive around. Don't go to a dark place because you know that the people are not watching to confirm. I mean, I go, I go to those spaces oh, or uh, Bully, Bully, Bully told you, no, their roads are very good. I spread across from the west their roads to are very good. Their roads are very good, but let me tell you, they are selective good. Selective. Selective because at that time, I mean, who wanted to win um, oh, prime? Please. And I'm telling you, really? whatever they do. But they are developing the place oh, now. Oh, Look at the time. Gentlemen, can you also oh. allow me? You see, you explained that if I was listening to you, because I want them to listen and then I, I pointed out to you. You get what I mean? I mean, who at the time was running for uh, MP and they wanted him to win and he won actually. Because if you enter bushes, they are everywhere, everywhere. The, the streets lies there, good roads, which is fine. We use like that. But when you enter spaces where they are even NDC MPs, meanwhile, DCs like and what? NCs are supposed to be dealing with a go to Tessie. Because where, minority uh, leader go to Tessie, is yes, the man. MP for Adakul and his roads are congested. Go so to, go to, uh, your Tessie. case is neither go here to Go to a shaman. A shaman, uh, the residents have been complaining bitterly, and we've turned a blind eye on them because we say that they vote for what? What didn't your, uh, your president say? What didn't you go and say when even victim, people who have been victimized, people who, have, who are suffering the consequences of uh, the reckless of the voter uh, river authority, you go and tell them that if they should be voting for if they vote for the development will be driven towards them. Really? So we Is that know. What say? Oh, what didn't he even say about it? Did they confuse? You see, what didn't Akufado say? That he gave when he lost it, like that's when he realized, oh, only you, only you need more. Like we know, they are all political gimmicks, you see. Um, yeah, so this MPP, they are all focused on winning elections, but the NDC is focused on building Ghana. That is why we say it is the building Ghana agenda, and it is always be headed by the nation builder. He comes in and then makes things right. You drive around, you see potholes. For the longest time in my life, this is the first time I'm seeing that we don't even patch potholes anymore. And then to even patch what holes, they need to make. But you know they've oh, released 140 million. They need, million exactly. They need to make news about it. Ah, that we've released 150 right. million Ghana cedis. No, you're saying so you don't patch. Now that it is going on, holes, and you are, you are complaining. So what should be done? Patch holes. It's not even. Uh, it, it, it was work for the municipal um, assembly. Yeah. You know, and they do. They have the rules committee or whatever within the assemblies that do all of these things. But now we see people sitting in wheelchairs, patching our roads with some blocks or sand, and then they want one city. Like for the longest time, I have not seen this. You make you be driving, and all you hear is people your cars. You always be going for all of these things. You, you get what I mean? And I, I like the way you said that's as an eyesore. <laughs> but the NPP, they don't spare. And I I want to introduce this into the conversation that has got to do with um, the their minority leader. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I should go there now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, market here. That's, so, that's, that's, ah, part, that's that part majority leader. The, Sorry, he's majority, now majority leader. Sorry, yeah. ma majority leader. <laughs> okay, um, but before that, I, mean, I think yeah. I am, I'm before, seeing, before, into, before the, I'm seeing into the future of yes. me becoming minority leader. I mean, no, 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 it's, it's not possible. <laughs> it's part of, is that prophecy? Oh, I mean, I, I, from you. Yes, my, oh, my, don't yes, accept that prophecy. No, it's not even possible. No, no, we're not accepting that. I'm just asking him if it's a prophecy. It's fine, it's fine. When we get there, to accept or not. When we get there, first of all, let me establish. That he comes into history as one of the young, as the youngest, youngest. minority majority leader, yeah. which, by the way, it's it's. I, I personally no, no, have no, it's been so, it's so, so very, relax, very relax. knowledligable. I've, I've been to his constituency, um, yeah. the ECOWAS meeting. I think yeah. it was held 2022, 
was What's held happening? over there. And I must give him props. He's doing amazing there. Now, when I told is, people is, that is a this man has bought that area and okay. he's not losing it. Not Anytime. that he's bought it, in a, but he's used yeah. development to encourage mm. the people to keep coming mm. for him. So again, he's somebody that I trust that... Um, in his position as a majority do, leader, it, it'll be a conversation to yeah. worth, worth, worth. Yeah. Um, um, I tell you what, I, 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 I love him for I love him for one thing: his red tie. <laughs> I just I just love him for his red tie. You know, his blue suits and his red tie and all that. Yes, but you see, um, this is what I want to put across. Um, you know, over the whole weekend, um, you know, uh, after the resignation of uh, the former majority leader mm -hmm. and the he coming into play and. You know, we've had senior political analysts. You saw the transition in yeah, parliament. Yes, but we've had senior political an uh, analysts bringing out this, um, their, their thinking. Perception. Uh, perception. Yeah. And also, I mean, not, not, not one, not two, not three. It's I mean, a lot of perception. them. But they are saying that, um, well, this whole um, change mm -hmm. and this whole, um, you know, substitution is coming in as a form of it being more... A little bit come see come sa for them, and thinking that well, Honourable Osei Chebe also shouldn't have resigned. Mm -hmm. A lot of concerns have come in, and they're saying that it's not, it wasn't voluntary. What do you have to say about it? <laughs> he will, yeah, so be, I think um, he had I'm a asking meeting. this question because it was all over social media. Yes, yeah. he personally wrote his resignation letter to the president, right? That. Um, where it has got into, I think members of the party are all talking that it, it, it will be a step in the right direction to make changes in the leadership of the party. So he resigned as the leader of the party. And then in his resignation, I think if, if, if Friday, if you, if you watch the um, session in parliament, he gave a wonderful speech about um, the new leader, Honorable Afeno Markins. Mm -hmm. And when Honorable Afeno Markins also had the opportunity, you heard what he said about him. We wish a similar thing was done in a minority. Gentlemen, talk not, about your problem not, and stop boring Will people. you allow me to talk, please? <laughs> we wish a similar thing happened in the minority. Where Har Honorable Harun Idrisu was on your sister's station one evening, he woke up the next day, and a letter has been sent to parliament that his name has been taken off. He's no longer a leader. Mm. And then on the, I think, on the I could check the date, I'm not too certain, right? It took the National Council of the party to resolve the issue because they wanted to take Honorable Muntaka out of his constituency and bring in another person as part of the vaccination. And then all plots that were set, they changed every, um, I think 80% of okay, them. Okay, so the focus is there. what's the tr this you transition see, is, But is, look is at how, this is a, you saw how beautifully the transition went. That mm. is how it's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. It shouldn't, but I understand the minority. You see, there's a political party that first came into power through coup. So anytime they want to do something and they're not getting it their way, then they would have to implement the same thing. How can your leader wake up just one day and his name is his name a name has been sent to parliament? We that get that. He's no longer. <laughs> we, but we, you we, see, when it comes to that of MPP, yeah, yeah. there there was a little misunderstanding, and it was as a result of the new standing order, which came into effect on the second of um, January. The new standing order created room for parliament to choose their leaders. However, mm. however, the speaker of parliament, who has the authority to interpret it, said that the parties should um, initiate the conversation. Mm. Then a decision will be taken. Yeah. But in the case of um, Honorable Seche Mensah Monsu, he had resigned. Um, um, Honorable Lydia Al Hassan had been prom uh, promoted or nominated into a position. There were vacant spaces which needs to be filled. The party sat and rec recommended that the deputy who had worked with the leader and learned under his foot should mm. take place or to take lead. And he, looking at his qualities, his, 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 his knowledge of the law, it's, 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 it's on top. Mm. And I'm very certain that he would, he would deliver a fantastic job in this um, parliament and the next parliament as the leader of the uh, of, majority. Of, of the majority caucus. Mm -hmm. But okay. was there was there anything given? Um, I mean, I'm, I'm coming to you, officer. Yeah. I mean, why are people speculating that it wasn't voluntary in the first place? What what, what have they what have they put out there for? It us wasn't to a leave? coup to like because what because first of uh, we heard of the the possible change. 
in, in the form of rumors, even before the resignation letter came. Mm. We had a group called the uh, Majority Caucus in Parliament address the press and say that, oh, they are not going to allow their leader to be changed because they think their leader is a... Well, we heard it. And then a day after, they said they are holding an emergency uh, meeting. We heard all of those things. There were those imaginations. There were those uh, plots. But Osechi Menza Bonzo was fast enough to resign, to save, to save face, mm. you know, so that we'll sit here and say he resigned mm. and not sacked or substituted. But again, I want to start off by saying that there are various reasons why Osei Chairman Sabons was, was changed. And it's all premises on what I started. In, in your on. argument, you're yeah. saying he's changed, but what the reports are saying is that he resigned. He resigned. Can okay. we stay on the resignation bit? Uh, because that would be uh, okay. alleged. There, there are various reasons why... Um, Honorable Osei Chairman was, was forced, like really, there were reasons, really the, the reasons forced him to, you know, there were reasons why I was You would have to defend that. Yes. Traffic forced me you to. You would have to defend I'm going that. To, I'm going to Some do that. Some of these reasons. Okay, that's fine. You would have to fine. defend that. Um, first off, I'd, and I also want to say that he, he is part of the reasons why we are here in this state as a country. He led the group that passed the E-Levy. He led the group um, that had the highest numbers to borrow recklessly. He led the group that, um, that, that basically helped the government, the Nanado Baumia government, to get us deep into this ditch. And so he's no angel. But the main reasons why he, he decided to resign after hearing that mm -hmm. there were news of him getting to be changes. First off, I, like I told you earlier, the MPP don't spare. This is a member of parliament that has vowed that he was not going to go into par parliament again. So like this year was his last year. And let's put that respect on his name. He served the, the nation in that capacity quite well, and the people of Swami a little bit well. And under his, <laughs> under his, well a little bit well. No, because the people <laughs> over there, we saw said, news that they he were. Said, they he wanted served to, them well. No, no, but if you say a little bit, no, I am not. That'll be, that'll I'm not, I'm not that'll Swami. Be. But the yes, news from that's, Swami. That's my thing. Yeah, but the news from Swami, the people from, from Swami, Swami mm -hmm. are saying that. Uh, didn't you hear the news when they wanted to? Uh, is it uh, through what I him or what? I'm not endorsing that, but I'm saying that is what people do when they get angry, when they do not like your, your leadership. That is what they do when they feel like you are not fighting for their interests. Mm. And so it is based on the reports from Swami that I'm saying that although I think he served them well, mm. they are saying he didn't serve well. And so that is why I put in the letter, he served them a little bit well. You get what I mean? Now, it was under his stewardship that a group stood to say that they are, and they are, they, they are calling for the head or the... They are calling for the resignation of the finance minister, the president's darling cousin. So if you can watch for things like this to happen, then something is coming for you. You get what I mean? It was if you don't get what you mean. If you don't get it, that's fine. I'm, I'm talking to the over how many viewers? Over 300,000 people that are set to glue to their TVs watching. Secondly, it was under his leadership, and he made some personal comments that were not in line with the party's own arguments. That's... They will not agree, he will not agree for the EC to say they will not use indelible ink. And he set the chest up. And you know, at the time, the MP were trying to um, defend why the EC says they will not use indel indelible ink. And then you come to say that, oh no, and you are a leader of, of the party, so they feel like, okay, second betrayal. Then number three, the EC again says that I want to change um, election date from 7th December to 7th November and gave reasons. And he also stood, and, and I, I respect him for all of these decisions because he has been through the electoral process in Ghana for quite a long time, and he knows the implications of decisions like this. And that is why he comes in to say that. Moving election from 7th December to uh, 7th November is not in the interest of the general electorates, especially if you are taking this decision within an electionary year. Mm -hmm. And he said this just up. And so, okay, you will show you, you know. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Ah. I did, I did. They don't joke. Oh. Really? I'm telling you, they don't joke. No, no the argument is neither here nor ah. there. The last statement. That yeah. in an elect. Oh, but no, no, no. In no, June, on. during their era, they started yeah. this whole process that it should be brought to November. You see, with that, the mindset. That, that's my other you see, about you all, we all yeah, agree no, that no, it should on. be. But no, you see, the, the whole thing on. is that if it's at the MPP, then no, it's no, not no, good. Yeah, because if it was not good, we should move from there. No, no, no. 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 No, but we also need to do a broader consultation. Mm -hmm. The other thing too is that if you want to um, uh, orchestrate such change, you need to do it ahead of time. 
You cannot wait to elect election year. January, and say, oh, no, 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 no. Whether January or six months. There, there are so many things that need to be put in place. Do you understand? It be done so, in ten uh, months. Yes, I don't think so. I think you should be able to announce it early so that the, the party should be able to look through it and bring their problems. Then you can scratch it on the table of, like, so we put our personal interest aside and then say, okay, this is something that we are going to uh, abide by. Because if there's a change in date, uh, minority says, I don't agree, this person says, I agree, then there's a, uh, another six months of fight in parliament just to pass this simple ally, you know? So um, that is what I'm saying. So whether or not it was suggested by you first, for you, it is really... Timing. Timing. The timing, yeah. exactly, and okay. because so when it was proposed in June, and because 20, the and because the honourable Osei and Sambos who had stood his ground to defend things like this, they had already marked him. You know, they they felt like okay, now you have the you have you, you have the moral ground to to just say what you think and not just the party's position and you're a leader. Oh, but and, this is oh, so my, wrong. Okay. This, no, it's, so, I, 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 no, it's so wrong. Asari. That's fine. You say, it was against yeah. most of government issues. Even supported other candidates. Yeah, that was, but it, it, no, has it not been promoted? Uh, so your honorable you Peter Mel was so I don't know. It, it's you neither know why they are there. It, it's, it's neither because they still want him to go and win that. Oh, uh, see, why so, for them. So, no, 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 no. I am telling you, perception. It is, it is without any empirical evidence to back your case. What other empirical evidence do you need? This is physical. You go there and Amewu has the ground. Are you going to say because Amewu is campaigning for Alan, you are going to write him off? Amewu take your votes away. No, no. Let's let's protect him. What are you talking about? And and Abuna. I'm not sorry. I can give you all the. I can give you. No, give me one reason. See, the the only reason why um, this guy, uh, what's his name, Chema West, disappointed MP. Do you know his name? Chema, you are disappointed MP. But Tema why West. would you say disappointed? No, no, no. But I mean, he, he, uh, sorry, but anyways, why would you say disappointed? In the oh, you know, with your submission. Done? Yeah, I'm done. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we move on to um, his appointment as the majority. Oh, uh, yes. Um, Afenio Markins. Afenio Markins. Uh, I, um, I, I believe that um, you have, you know... No, but he, he made a, a statement that no. moving forward... No, he said moving forward, we should move away from... Um, yeah, that's um, true. Yes. And I but think moving away it, from what? We should move away from just me. Uh, no, we should move away from... Um, you know, bringing in leader, leadership or new people to serve the country without going through some deep course of new people. Uh, I don't which, know if I heard... I think it's a call in the right I'm, direction I'm, yes, if you yes, ask yes, me. Yes. But I think um, he should have also emphasized on the fact that the action that was taken by the minority then was wrong. And then... Uh, yes, man, these, should, are, these should, are stories that have been which, squashed already. Right? Which, which are the stories? Is it not true? Harina was angry. Now, I think... When we, we are in this country, uh, focus, when, when we go to the... Uh, you're you're focus, talking about... Your focus as a political party in an election year is to, first of all, break the eight. Let me tell yes. you what people have been communicating. Yes. It's to break the eight. Everything is to It's to, to correct... Mm -hmm. your your wrongs mm -hmm. or what you might have not have done well and to continue your great initiatives. Yes. Is every, right? everything is so everything. your focus for me and you as we are sitting here is not what the NDC did no, wrong. Yes, no, 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 no. What the NDC, no, so you see, what uh, I'm trying to say is that. The and beyond no, want to just get, we want to first off But they don't have, they don't have a, hold, hold they, on, they, they, their flag okay, okay, has not been able to come up with a policy or oh, with yeah, even his vision yeah, as of now. At least, man. let us know what you do. But if you've heard him, throughout, throughout his, his movement across yeah. the country, either he would cancel or he, he would, you know, um, review, oh, cancel, goodness. review. So he has said this about 260 times across the country. While the vice president is focused on telling you what he wants to do. And if you have some bold ideas, right? Right. But you and I believe that he the, the ideas, vice president right. is more mention, competent. Mention one, you cannot tag him with corruption me, me, um, on any day, any yeah. time. Well, you are not really. Oh, you are not really no, 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 where? <laughs> on the basis you, you tag him with corruption. I'll tell you Mohammed's ideas. Some of what I've heard of so far. Some of what he has not come out with. No, no. No, you see, but so we are so guided by the 2020. We are so guided by the 2020. Like, but you know before the man who come out with his own vision. No, no, what's the vision? You see, coming out with a vision which is a misplaced vision. 
a blurry vision does not mean that a delayed vision, which is still in within the time, the premises of time, is delayed. First know. off, haven't Wait, you heard of the 24-hour 24, 24 um, economy? What is it haven't about? you heard the 24-hour economy? What is it about? Haven't you heard it? Have you heard what it? What is it no, about? But He's asking it? a question. No, no, what is it about? about? No, no, but wait. Have you heard about the 24-hour no, economy? I don't, what is it no. about? No, no. Can you say yes or no Yeah, just say yes. Come again. Can you say yes I don't know what it is about. I've heard I've heard a slogan. I've heard you have heard 24-hour economy. Jay, Jay, I think it will be prudent for him to answer what it is about. I don't know what he said. I don't know what he said about what he said. No, listen. I've seen shirts customized to 24 hour. Imagine that. Can you tell us what it is about? I don't know what it is about. I'll be very glad if you bring me. I've heard Mama talk about 24 hour. I said I'll be very glad if you bring me. I've heard Mama talk about 24 hour. If you know it, that's fine. I don't need to. I'm saying that. I've seen shirts customized to where they've written 24 hour economy. I've seen what it is. I don't know what it is. So I'm asking you to educate me. But you've heard it. So I've seen hours, the walk. The 20, so I don't know if they are working for 24 okay, hours question, I think or they are customizing shirts for 20. No, I don't no. know. I Bring me on. What so is the 24 hour economy all about? His Excellency, it was even in our 2020 manifesto. Mm -hmm. Just so you know. Yeah, what is so it the about? The 20, 24 hour economy mm -hmm. is basically an avenue which says that we are going to open up the economy. Oh. Where persons like myself, mm -hmm. who just works in um, maybe companies that are dealing with agro processing or manufacturing, mm -hmm. but we just go to work nine to five and close, shut down the systems, mm -hmm. and then go back home and come back when we are not even meeting production. Mm -hmm. What we can possibly do is that open up the economy in such a way that we can now have a shift system. When I have closed nine to five, somebody else can come and take over from the five to uh, mm -hmm. whatever. Mm -hmm. So we run a three shift system mm -hmm. within a day. Mm -hmm. We need some selected um, industries, industry. because those are the industries that can mm -hmm. propel growth mm -hmm. and employ and absorb more people. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. also ensure that these companies that are taking up these challenges, mm -hmm. they are also being supported by mm -hmm. the government. So like some tax incentives, so like uh, some tariff incentives in the form of utilities, because we want you to uh, absorb our people, you know, employ our people, get them something to do so that they do not want to have this burning desire to leave the country, mm -hmm. so that they do not just um, be living without mm -hmm. whatever, you know. Mm -hmm. So this is, in a nutshell, it has a broader uh, understanding mm -hmm. where security is going to be strengthened, where um, street lights are. And, you see, it encompasses a system mm -hmm. of growth mm -hmm. because now when you think about just the 24 hour uh, economy, mm -hmm. you are thinking about um, security. So there are more people that are going to be uh, entering into the security services. They are going to be rolling in the evenings. Street lights, they are going to be working. Transportation. So it means that it is not just people that are. Uh, the value chain is. Enormous. And when I even say 24, I usually want to say library. Because when I was on, on campus, together my, we initiated what we call the 24 hour library. Where we, we do answer, we even dealt with uh, volunteers. Effective. You can go back to UPS and it's a so running. So what I'm saying is, this, this in totality is what a 24 hour library, uh, 24 hour economy means. And there's so much. That is going to go. It is the game changer. Sounds you brilliant see, to me. Yeah, Sounds exactly. brilliant so to I've, me. I've, I've, I've listened not, to him. Not, I've, I've, I've listened to him, and I'm not saying. No, no. He, uh, based on what he said, okay. before a 24-hour economy, mm -hmm. right? I, I, I thought you were no, 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 telling me. You are telling me. Yes, but you tell me. Yes, you just told me. Already, this 24-hour economy thing they are trying to, you know, overemphasize is already in place. How is that? Well, I don't know. So if, your if, vice no, president no, said it's a bad idea. No, 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 let, 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 let me tell you something. When you pass by Spintex, there are about six pharmacies. They open 24 mm. hours. When There are about two filling stations, Shell and them, um, one on the... Um, I've forgotten the name of the street. But Manuel Junction. They no, open 24. To Osu, they, they open uh, 24. Yeah. Uh, uh, so, uh, you see, when there is demand, nobody is preventing you from... You know, making profit. And if, for example, if you have shows or if people would, if there is a high demand for your programs in the evening, will you close? Do you need somebody to tell you to run 24 hours? No. So it is already in place. Good. It's not something new. Good. It is but, not but, 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 so your, but your vice president has the banks. The vice president says it is in place. So no, what no, you're saying is that you're not there. It is in place. It is impossible. It is impossible. It is impossible. Um, and before you can do all these things, but, but I infrastructure I needs further. to be built. Exactly. That is why government is busy working on roads. That is how government is busy patching um, potholes. That is how government is busy making potholes. Government 
Okay. Both of you, don't no, you, really, don't you no, think that? Really, really, the same person no, who but said no, that, but they would need to let go back. In the evening, they want to wait. For what, the government is working happens, on all these things. But it's too long, I'm saying that. what happens and is good for the average guy. Oh, please. It is already in place. Nothing is preventing anybody from operating 24 hours. 24 hours, we do not have the fact of that. It's open. So what do you say? You talk about infrastructure. I like... In, fact, see, in Ghana, no, yeah, you see, if you ever want to talk about infrastructure, the first person your mind goes to is your mama. If really? You like, if you like, if you like, try it on anybody. We can, we can sample this. The so, first person going. Great, great conversation, ah, right? Really? Really? Wrap, wrap, wrap up, wrap right now. it up. No, no, no. Here you are, realizing. Because you're going to say all our time. Twenty-four hours. You, 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 you didn't allow place. yourself it is to make yourself feel it, 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 it is moving perfectly. That, uh, so what? And I was on your side. He made mention thinking that. You were going to yeah. calm this gentleman down. You didn't. Oh, I, I he know. He's my brother. He made mention, I was so happy. Of, he made no, no, mention no. of selected um, uh, pharmacies mm -hmm. that, oh. are, that are running. You see, when there is demand. See, when we talk about see, 24 hour economy, how, they, they how think, can you they tell? Think, listen, they you think see, on this the is, surface. They, they, they don't, they because don't, we are looking at a supply chain of agro processing. You know, well, if there's no, if there's no demand for what you have this conversation, you don't think there's demand. You don't think there's demand for rice in Ghana? When we import over 82 percent of the rice we eat, and we don't think there's the demand for poultry in Ghana, where we put over eighty percent of the poultry okay. eating. No, you, you want to talk about that? That is why they want to wrap up. Let us 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 I feel that How this many coming. So that we just two seconds. Yes, yeah, just two seconds. Coming seven December, Ghanaians are going to make the right choice, mm -hmm. and they know who this person is. The game changer, the nation builder, His Excellency John Dramani Mahama, is coming back to return Ghana onto the pedestal of growth. Okay. The other thing too is that I want to appeal to you and your producers, if possible, we can do this every other day or maybe. Five days a week, because these are issues that we should be discussing. I see people discuss relationship and all of it. It's very, very fine. But this is also affecting people, and maybe you have reached out to guys. Come here, okay. just on we'll, my we'll, days. We'll look into up. that. Yeah, please do. We'll Producer. Right, my, 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 yeah. my, my final words. Mm. Um, I don't know. Just recently, the vice president gave his vision to Ghanaians. <laughs> I think it is quite clear that if you can read and appreciate where he stands on, on various issues, on various policies, Look at his campaign team. He, this is a man of action. Yes. He, doesn't, he doesn't need a honeymoon time yes. to come in and come you know team. rest for some number of hours. <laughs> we are on the job. There is no time to waste. Mm. And already we are creating, you know, the vice president said he's creating one million jobs for the youth when it comes to um, 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 data and IT. This is this is it brings hope to us because now we are in a digital era. Yeah. We can make more Just money in back. dollars, no. in pounds, no. and in what have you. Because but this same vice president said they no, 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 Thank you so much for joining us, Reginald, and my friend Kwepu. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll hope to see you again, and we'll look into your conversation again. Uh, and also, you out there for listening, we absolutely appreciate you. Yeah. It's time to hit the beat. Gentlemen, gentlemen, and you radio, so I mean to mean do mic in Tipa Shady. It's time to hit the beach again, time to reignite our passion for beach sustainability. The first edition of Beach. Um, uh, please for 2024 kicks off on the 2nd of March. This time, our beach cleanup exercise takes place at Bola Beach, right behind Independence Square from 6.30 a.m. to 10 a.m. Come clean up the beach and push the word on environmental sustainability. It starts with you and how you dispose of your plastics. Visit uh, myeco.com slash pages slash beach please to sign up to volunteer now you can also donate to the cleanup of myco.com beach please is powered by myco.com in partnership with apollo beach club ahaban GLF, glf uh, the ghana tourism authority and mx24 tv for more information or inquiries call 053 
0-1-4. Beach Please second match 2024. 6.30 a.m. at Bola Beach. See you there. Don't go nowhere. I'm seeing you on the 2nd of March, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, definitely. 2nd of March it is. Uh, and we're going to clean up and clean up easy with Maiko, of course. Okay, so time for us to get straight into plug, the plug. And we're plugging in uh, one of our gospel sensations right here in Ghana, Luigi McLean. We'll be right back after this. Yeah, joining the cleanups. United 